just went and chased a rainbow. Never done this before. It was awesome. Super beautiful. Couldn't capture it on video, but it doesn't matter because I was literally driving underneath a perfect arc of a rainbow. So cool. Fun? Yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. okay. Whoa! Again! Addy, be careful. I'm a tropical because I really like tropical flute. So I'm out here in the woods during Woodstock and just took a bunch of pictures and wanted to spend a little time outside because I haven't. Um, gotten a ton of time outside while I've been here. Zabat doesn't like to push people super high. Let me show you. I know how to do it. Just like that? Mm-hmm. Just like that? <coughs> yeah. So I'm about to go rock climb for the very first time in about over a year.
Where are you? Are you stuck? Yeah. Are you climbing up? Nine. No? You got it. Get your second hand up there. Did it. So I'm listening to a podcast right now from one of the um, one of the people that really inspired. Um, me to start investing a good amount of time in, uh, I guess, personal development. Um, it was shortly after I read um, Tim Ferriss's Four Hour Work Week that I, um, I think he suggested a book by by James Altucher called The Power of No. And um, within that book, I believe, he also has a few other books, so it might not have been that specifically, but within that book, he talks about the, your idea muscle and how it's something that you have to exercise. Your ideas, your creativity needs to be utilized every day. And so he's created these lists that he does every day that I did um, for maybe a few weeks before stopping. And I've done it not too long ago, maybe like a month ago. Um, but just creating lists of you know ways in which you can make money, um, things you could execute right now that would um, slightly improve where you're at um, you know as I'm driving and I'm having all these ideas and it's just reminding me how important that idea is and I think I've always you know, known that and I knew it when I was doing it every day but I I haven't been as consistent and so I just wanted to put that out there as a idea for you but also something that I'm going to start doing again is that when I wake up and journal that I make a whole list of things that I could do and exercise my creativity and just see maybe there's uh, places in which I want to create various projects Maybe there are places in which I can um, explore that I didn't realize I, I wanted to. Maybe there are places I can uh, financially support myself better that I'm not uh, recognizing. And so I'm excited to just play with that idea more. I've been on the road for five hours now. Gotten four 
and a half hours to go. I have to stop, get some gas, use the bathroom, and uh, we'll get back on the road. Super excited to actually get to my Airbnb because uh, I've got so many things planned and I just want to cook some food. videos, explore the woods there. <clears throat> so the reason I'm headed to Ohio is, for, is really for this forest therapy training and it's going to be interesting to be back in that space again because I haven't been there in over a year and uh, two, almost three months. I got these sandals. I've never owned sandals in my life. I've always worn flip-flops. They are super thin. It's as if you're walking barefoot. Um, they seemed more practical and that's why I got them. But to be honest, I feel like they look super weird. Um, but I think it's something that I just need to get used to in order for it to feel um, more natural. So I came up with this idea while driving. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and it's kind of funny because every time someone's introduced, I, for the most part, um, don't know a lot of the guests that people will have on their podcast. Maybe that's because I don't pay attention to, um, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I don't really, uh, read enough or really look for successful people. I'm not sure what it is, but what I was thinking is that, you know, everyone always has those introductions at the beginning where they're like, oh, they're, you know, this is the person and they have have the, these accomplishments and they have two best-selling books and they have a website, uh, they have a blog. Uh, they travel the world, you know, a whole bunch of um, the, I guess, successful facts about this person or whoever it is. And so I was thinking, what if you had a podcast where you didn't start with any of that? There actually is no name within the podcast until the very end. And so obviously, it's hard to market the podcast because you wouldn't be able to say the name of the successful person you're interviewing. Um, but it kind of adds a mystery and, a, and it sets the stage for accepting the information, I think, differently. I sometimes find when... Um, when I'm listening to a podcast and they mention they're a writer or a coach. <sighs> For some people, they listen more because, you know, you've set the stage that this is a very successful person and they've achieved a lot. And this idea 
doesn't, you know, limit that ability to set the stage, you know, of the success of someone. It's, I think it's more about curiosity and I'm really just thinking about creating a podcast where you are honoring each human being before you're honoring what they've done. You listen to what they have to say. You're trying to figure out what they might have done with their life based on the the answers and the conversations that flow from from the podcast. It's just an idea. Thought it would be cool to implement. So I'm like 15 minutes away from my Airbnb. It's just past 3 o'clock and I'm driving through corn and soybean fields, which is kind of funny. It reminds me of home. Um, Not that I'm surrounded by corn and soybeans at home, but just a lot of woods and greenery and uh, yeah, I, I didn't expect it to be quite in the middle of nowhere the, the way it is, I guess. Life is wonderful.